Round two is now in the books at TPC Deer Run. Sorry, I got to move my camera a bit there. That should be good. But, as I said, round two has come and gone. It's in the books, and the cut has been drawn. Uh, the cut line was three under after the day. It went from one under to two under to one under to two under, and then it ended up ending at three under. So it kept climbing as more people climbed lower on the scoreboard. Or climbed higher, I guess. I, I don't know. Golf's weird. I have to score lower like that. I don't know how you... But anyway, we've got a little bit of a different leaderboard than we expected to see coming into the day. Based on what we saw yesterday. Same leader as yesterday. And JT Poston taking in that top roll at 15 under par. He's in the lead by four strokes. Followed by Denny McCarthy at 11 under. Matthias Schwab along with Christopher Gatterup. And... And also Emilio, Emiliano Grillo and then Chris Nagel all at 10 under after the day. CT Pan had a more early morning tea time. 9 under was near the uh, uh, top, or near uh, Poston rather, who was at 10 under to begin the day. Poston was 5 under today. So CT Pan climbed his way up to the top and now he's going to be back tied to 7th as he had a morning tea time, which sometimes isn't always a benefit. Uh, Maverick McNeely stayed hot today, and he really caught fire all the way down to 9-under. Von Taylor, Scott Stallings, Taylor Moore, Michael Glickick, and Callum Terran uh, all following up at 9-under. Hank Leviota in the list at 9-under uh, with Patton Kizire, Mark Hubbard. And then we go down the list, we see Charles Howell III making it in with a solid day today. Four under on the day, That's and seven under total. Dylan Fertelli, 20, excuse me, 2019 champion, six under. He makes the cut for the first time since that 2019 win. Ryan Moore follows him right up at six under, along with Anurban Lahiri and Bo Hogue. With Patrick Flavin and Chesson Hadley, Cam Davis, Morgan Hoffman, Austin Cook, all these guys sitting at six under. Andrew Putnam makes that cut line at six under. Going down the list, Zach Johnson, former champion, four under, making the cut, along with Jonathan Bird, both at four under. Adam Long in the mix at five under par with Kevin Strillman. Rory Sabatini, a three under, or a four under rather, just slim through there. Peter Malnati, three under with Sahithi Gala. Just barely sneaking in. He had a solid day, six under on the day to make it. Just that cut line. Brandon Hagee dropped down seven spots today. Two under, however, and he got the three under. Kramer Hickok just barely slimmed it out, made a clutch five foot putt on 18. That was no gimme. Plenty of break on that, but he was able to capitalize as I was there watching that one. And he moves on to the next round. A few of the big names that did not make the cut. The projected cut at the end of the day was at three under. That's where it stood. Lucas Glover, defending champion, unable to make it. Nate Lashley, Chad Ramey, both sitting a stroke behind. KJ Choi, one under. Fell short. Webb Simpson. I had the honor to be able to walk inside the ropes with him today as I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I was able to be selected to do that. He was a fun guy to watch, but he just couldn't have knocked down a putt today for some reason. And he was the highest ranked player uh, in the world who's coming into this tournament, who would be who would participate in the tournament. He sent a one under with Jason Duffner and then Wesley Bryan, who I was really disappointed to see go out. Uh, Ryan Brem also in that mix at one under, and Sean O'Hare, former champion. Adam Hadwin, he was the favorite to win it all coming in. He will sit at even par with Harry Higgs and Bill Haas, Jonas Blix, Cameron Champ, all sitting at even. Cameron Champ, a really rough day from him. Cameron Percy, one over, unable to make it through. Camille Villegas, two over. Ryan Armour, two over. DA Point, caught hot in the end, but it was far too late. He had three birdies on the last four holes, if I, if I stand correctly. He's two over, along with Bo Van Pelt. Both of them falling short of the cut line. The worst score of the weekend was absolutely ridiculous. You've, I've never seen a score this high at a, cor at a 
course that can go very low. Ty, or excuse me, Matt Every, 17 over par. We have guys nearly 17 under. JT Pilsen at 15 under, uh, but guys nearly at 17 under. He goes 17 over on a very low scoring course. I don't know what happened there. Luke Cannon goes 8 over. Charles John goes 7 with Stadler, Potter Jr., who I, he was in the, uh, he was in the, what's his name? He was in the Webb Simpson group that I was able to walk with inside the ropes today, and he, he his drives were just atrocious. Uh, Quinn Riley making his PGA Tour debut this weekend. Good day for him, three under, but it was far too late after a rough first round. Greg Chalmers falling short. Otherwise, I saw some interesting, I've seen some balls hit where I've never seen them hit before at TPC Deer Run. And I've seen some really, I saw some really nice shots today. A few near aces, a few near hole outs from a couple hundred, from um, a hundred yards. We did see a hole in one today on the third hole. And that was by, uh, let's see, Patrick Rogers was, his, uh, was the one who was able to hole out on the par three, three. And, he, and this was really cool. Uh, he bought every volunteer there, that, a couple thousand of volunteers, or at least I think it's 1,700, I want to say. That's how many volunteers they need each year at TPC Day Run for the John Deere Classic. But he bought every one of them a beer for his hole-in-one because I think there was some prize on that hole for money or something. But yeah, that was something cool to see uh, in the early moments of the day. John Deere Classic, round two. Is all said and done. There's your cut line. I went over who's going to make it, who you'll never see again this year at TPC Deer Run. There's a lot of names that I hope can return next year who were unable, who fell short this year. But it's going to be a great finish coming up. Down the stretch we go. Halfway home of the John Deere Classic 2022. Round 3 begins tomorrow. Preview should be out pretty soon. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody.